Hey guys, welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great Tuesday. Let's go ahead and jump in. This week we're gonna be doing beef jerky. So this is the highest rated beef jerky in the world. So let's see if they hold up to it. What we did this week is we actually took beef jerky out of the box and we are gonna compare that to store-bought beef jerky and we're gonna see if it holds up. So let's go ahead and get started. I've got 10 different beef jerkies right here. I don't know what any of them are. My wife, uh, Oh, really my boss what I like to call her went ahead and took everything out of the bags they lined them up in these nice fancy containers that we have and we're gonna go ahead one by one taste test review and see if I can figure out which one is from the highest rated beef jerky in the world and which one is from the supermarket let's go ahead and get started with number one so right off the bat it's definitely got some seasoning on it I can tell that they actually seasoned it as well as other. It tears really well. It chews really well too. I usually like, I don't like really stringy beef jerky. I like it a little bit fatty, kind of, I mean, really chewable, eatable, edible. Um, some people like the really stringy beef jerky where they can sit there and gnaw on it for days. I personally, I, I don't like that. I like to have a lot of flavor. This one's really good. It's kind of normal though, other than it's got a little bit of a heat now. I can taste a little bit of a, a heat coming off of it. I do really like this though, so we're going to rank these. So what do you give this one out of 10? Out of 10, I think I'm going to start it in the middle, put about a 5. That might change only because that's the first one we've tried so far. So we're going to let me put that there. It's got a lot more heat coming off of it now. I kind of like the heat. I'm not a big spicy guy, but I kind of do like that. It's a very subtle heat though. It's slowly rising. So we're gonna put this one about a five. We're gonna see where that holds up. Next, we got this one. So this one is kind of stringy, a little more dry. It's not as juicy. A lot more chewy. And you know, compared to the other one, it's kind of bland. That or I still just got a lot of flavor in my mouth right now, but this one seems a little more bland than the other one. Let's go for this other piece. This other piece is a lot more, uh, yeah, it's a lot more my style. There's a lot of chewing going on. What do you think about this one rating wise? So this one I think is really good. This one's basic though. It is good. If you're looking for good beef jerky, I think this one is good. I think this one's gonna fall in the supermarket plane though, just for the fact that it's kind of plain, kind of bland. But overall beef jerky, it's not bad beef jerky. I'm gonna go with it's a three for now. Just because I think it's gonna get beat out by a lot of other things, but I could be very wrong. The fact that this is spicy and it's up here in five is surprising though. So this one's very different. This is not your typical beef jerky. You can see the seasoning on it already. Easily tear, very, I mean, it's very soft. So far, I actually kind of really like this. It's a little sweet. I expect it like flakes because if that's what it looks like would have on it but I really don't see any flakes I kind of actually really like this one almost like a teriyaki sweetness to it what would you rate this one did it beat out the last one or did yeah. it beat out the first one it beat out the last one I want to say it's in the middle so what I say this one was a three and this is a five yep let's go ahead and put that one in the middle so these are probably going to change, but I like the texture a lot better of this one than that one. It's softer, it's chewier, but I like the flavor of this one better. So let's go ahead and try this. This looks like it could be like the same brand almost. This one is not the way I like beef jerky. 
But you know, everybody likes beef jerky differently. I like not this, but I don't like this one at all. It's very peppery. It's not laughing. I didn't like this one either. <laughs> She put all of these in the container, so she obviously tasted them. Yep. I don't like this one. It does have a lot of heat coming off the bat, too. Like that. And it came out of nowhere. But there's a lot of pepper in it. It's the fourth one. It's the only one I've got stuck in my teeth so far. <laughs> but uh, I'm not a fan of this one. I'll try again, just, just to see. So where are you going to put this one at? It doesn't look like you're changing your mind at all. <laughs> no, I don't. No, this one's a one for now. I'm not a fan of that one. It, um, I don't mind the heat factor in it because it's something different, something new. But it had a little bit of a sweet flavor to it. Um, if you like sweet beef jerky, that's cool. I've never tried sweet beef jerky. I just, it had a lot of pepper too, so. That one's out for me. This one's a big fatty piece. A lot harder than I was expecting it to be based off of looking at it. It looked a lot more juicy and it's not. Show the camera. Very bland. There's no flavor other than just basic beef jerky. Maybe a little bit of smoky flavor to it. Yeah, there's a little bit of a smoke to it, for sure. But as far as beef jerky flavor goes, it's kind of very bland. It's not really up there. And it's kind of tough. We're gonna put that one down there. Number two spot. Yeah, the number two spot. It's not as good. Oh, I say it's not as good. It's better than this one, whatever this is. That was not very good. We're gonna we're gonna move on. This one looks very different. This one looks very dehydrated. Very dry. Yeah, this is not my style of beef jerky very dry very tough you're gonna chew on this for an hour where are you putting it i'm trying to figure out if i like the flavor i don't i don't know what does it taste like i don't know i'm trying to see if there's even a flavor i don't even know if there's a flavor there guys i took the last spot so far i um there's no flavor and it's tough I don't like it at all. This is a big boy. This is a thick boy. This thing is thick. It's like, almost like a piece of sirloin. Like a thick, oh. Okay, I guess this just took the last spot. I can't even. Oh, come on. Just shove the whole piece in your mouth and eat it, is what I did. I don't know what I did with this one. Very teriyaki. A little salty. It's like eating rawhide. They left that for way too long. If you need a weapon, you got one. If you're trying to kill somebody, but I mean, you could hear that tear apart. Where are you putting it? I'll be honest with you, the flavor is really not that bad. But is a bag of beef jerky worth the dental work? I'm gonna go with no, it's not. But is it worse than this one?
you know, even though it's a pain in the ass to chew, it's still not the last one. The flavor is actually better. If you like to just kind of, if you like to just chew on beef jerky for a long time, you like the dry stuff, that one's actually not bad in flavor. It's just not my thing. I think the flavor, if you could get that a little more juicy, I would love it. This one I'm excited about though. And you can see the little pieces falling off of it. What kind of flavor does that one have? I don't know. Almost like a soy sauce. Very Asian y. I don't, I don't know what this is. The flavor is not bad though. I really like the consistency and the texture of it. Hmm, where are you putting this one? That's a really good question. Is it better than your top one? No, okay. I don't know. It might be. I remember what that one tastes like. Switching. Yeah, switching up a little bit. I am um, making a mess of the jerky over here. These I just didn't care for because of the consistency, the texture. This one I just didn't like the flavor. These two are just kind of bland. They're just not a whole lot going on with them. I like this one. I really like the heat and texture of that one, but do I like this one more? I don't know. I might come back, I might change it, we'll find out. This is a thick one too. Is this the same as this one? Nope. That's disappointing. <laughs> it tastes the same. It really does. I don't, I don't know. Do you like the texture of one over the other? No, they literally are about the same. This one, this one might be a little more like sausage, sausage, sausage stick texture consistency compared to this one. I'm still chewing on it though. This one's better. They're, they're almost the exact same. This one has a little bit of a extra flavor to it, which is sad because this one was one of the most bland ones I've had. So I guess that one puts it super bland, but I still liked it better than these because I like the consistency and texture better and just the, the fatty flavor. It's, it tastes bland as far as beef jerky being bland. It still tastes like beef jerky. Last one, these are little nuggets. <clears throat> little tiny things. These are like beef jerky shavings. Super dehydrated, very dry. Almost the consistency of the super thick boy down here, but um, it's not as thick. How's the flavor of that one? Still trying to figure it out. It, um, there's not really a whole lot of flavor to it. Again, I'm getting like an Asian vibe from it. We're gonna put it down here. I didn't like it. It's about the same consistency, just not the same thickness but it doesn't have nearly as much flavor. Honestly, it might, it might even go lower. No, it's good where it's at. 
I think this is my final lineup. I might be changing these two. I'm about to retaste. Okay. These might be changing because I really like this one. But I like that one too. It's got really good flavor. It's got some really good heat. Very different. But I love the texture of this one. This one, the texture is great. All right, last bite after this one. Last bite, and we're gonna be a final judge. I'm gonna try a different piece. She put two pieces in there. Oh, you want another bite? Yeah. Do you want to help be my tiebreaker? No. Nope. No? Okay. I gotta swap them. I really like that heat, it's really good, but I love the texture, the consistency, and the flavor of that one. So where do I stand? Are you sure? This is it. All right, in your number one spot. No, 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 that's your, that's your like best one. Your oh, number my one number last. number one, the least, the least favorite. Yes, yeah, so your least favorite came from Sumo Jerky. Okay, I figured that. I it didn't. is Joel's traditional one hundred percent grass fed beef. Okay, grass fed beef um, didn't really hold up, and it's traditional jerky. I just, I didn't think there's a whole lot of flavor or texture. It's very, very dry. Maybe I had a little something, I don't know. I just, it's not for me. What's next? The next one is also from Sumo Jerky. Okay. This is Boston Jerky Company, Wicked Original. Boston Jerky Company, Wicked Original. So again, it's original flavored. I'm still not a fan. It's, it just didn't do it for me. I didn't, I didn't like it. Mm-hmm. Coming up in your next spot here is another one from Sumo Jerky. This one is Ripley's Peppered Beef Jerky. If they would make this softer, more chewable, and not like, just suck on it. Is this one the giant chunks? Yeah, this is the thick boy. So this one, and we'll show you on the screen of what the bag looks like. This one actually comes from fully like large chunks. They make it that way on purpose. They didn't want it to look like the rest of beef jerkies that you would get in a bag. They definitely yep. do it more of a nugget version. The look stood out. Like I said, it kind of looked like it was a chunk of sirloin, uh, just the way it was cut. The look absolutely stood out. The flavor is great. Honestly, it would probably be in my number four spot if it wasn't so dry. I don't like the dryness of it. It's just, it's too hard to eat. All right, next up is another one from Sumo Jerky. Ooh, Sumo Jerky's not doing too hot. They're not doing too hot right now. So this one is Arrogant Bastard Beef Jerky. This is also 100% grass-fed beef. That's not the Philip DeFranco thing, is it? No. What is that, Beautiful That's Bastard? Beautiful Bastard. Okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Phil doesn't uh, make beef, beef jerky. jerky. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I bet he'd make a good jerky. I bet he could. It is good. It's not there. I, these are my traditional, they're my, my basic jerkies. I have a feeling these are my supermarket jerkies, just based mm -hmm. off of them just being traditional so what do you got interesting so the one that has a number nine on it is great value beef jerky original yep so you can find this at your walmart great value i mean supermarket jerky it's your road trip jerky it was good it didn't stand up to these though nope next one over is jack link's original beef jerky <clears throat> this you can also find at walmart yep jack link's very very popular brand it's not bad it's it's just not it's basic it's basic beef jerky which is you know original it's what they wanted it beat out these originals i'll tell you that yep the next one is also jack links this is okay. the teriyaki beef jerky so again jack links placing in the middle with their teriyaki um Still not bad, just not not my top three. All right, your next one is from Sumo Jerky. Okay. And this is Baja Jerky Baja Salsa jerky. Fresca flavor. Okay, Baja Salsa Fresco flavor. Fresca. Fresca flavor. Um, I mean, whatever, do it. It's good, I liked it. Well, I don't know what those flavors are, but they're delicious. 
All right, your next one, which is my favorite. Okay. This is Great Value Beef Jerky Thai Style Heat. You can find it at Walmart. Great Value Thai Style Heat at Walmart is my number two. I didn't expect supermarket beef jerky to place as high as it did, but I'm not complaining. I mean, that just means I can buy a local, which is awesome. Okay, what's what's number one? What's my winner? Now this last one, which I was very surprised that you chose, is also Baja Jerky, but this one is Sweet Orange. Flavor. I knew there was some citrus in there. I wanted to say there was citrus, but I didn't want to sound dumb. Because who puts citrus in beef jerky? But Baja is the name brand. Baja is the name brand. So it looks like out of all of them from Sumo Jerky, Baja brand tends to be your favorite. I like Baja. I bet I can buy it separately too. I will say, Sumo Jerky is worth buying though. I really enjoyed what I got out of the beef jerky because they might not be my my style, my my favorite, but I got to try some really cool beef jerkies I probably would not have tried before. So I really liked Sumo Jerky. I think the bang for its buck, which was about $24, I want to say. For a six. Six. So I got the one, the two, three, four, five, and six. Yep. So unfortunately they did place my bottom four. And then my number one and my number three. But at the same time, that's just because it's my flavor. That's what I prefer. If you like the thicker, drier pieces, man, that box would have been perfect for you. I, I will probably buy this again. I really like this box. What did you think about the box? I think it's really great. And what we'll show you is the sizes of the bags too. The sizes of the bags are absolutely great value. Out are of they? the six of them, there were only two that were smaller than the other four. However, they do come in a very large size. So okay. I think for the amount of money it was and for all the variety of options you get, I think it's super fun. And I think it'd be a really great gift to give someone who likes jerky. And yeah. I want to try different types because all of them, I thought they were all great. I actually liked some differently than you did. Baja was not my favorite. So what, all right, so your number one was the great value. Yes. <laughs> what was your number two? Um, out of the number two, I think, I can't remember which one it was. It might have been... It's either Arrogant Bastard or it was Joel's Traditional. So the Arrogant Bastard, that's the one I put in third? That one was or one next to it. So that yep. was this one, mm -hmm. really? Okay, so that was your number two? Mm-hmm. And then your Joel's Traditional is your number one, your least favorite. And that was your third? Yes. Man, see, and that just goes to show, like, everybody, everybody likes different things. So she liked my least favorites the most. But I'll be honest with you, out of flavor, they had great flavor and I definitely would not have hesitated to move them up to my fourth, fifth, and sixth spot. I just didn't like the consistency and the texture uh, and that kind of killed it for me. But if they could make this, or I'm sure they do, if they make this and this consistency and texture, I would have put these at the bottom. These wouldn't have stood a chance. And I'm sorry, Jack Links. Jack Links, I'm sorry, Great Value. You would have been the bottom. And that's just no. the way it works. Hands down. So if you like everything you saw here, you enjoy beef jerky, sumo jerky is definitely worth it. I highly recommend it. I might have a referral code. I don't know. I will find out for you in the description. But I'm definitely going to try this again. I hope you enjoyed everything you saw today. Make sure you like and subscribe, ring that bell. We'll see you next week. Bye guys.